Friday in Seattle, and I don't know if you can tell through the window here. It's a really big window in Blakeney's new car. It is extremely sunny. So we are out servicing a few of our listings. We need to refresh some flyers, check on them, make sure everything's okay, because both of the owners don't live there. While we're doing that, we're gonna ask Blakeney, it's almost been a year since you've it been has. in real estate yeah. as an agent. So just a few weeks. We're gonna ask her what her experience has been over the last year and check on our listings. Before that, my niece left her favorite sippy cup at my house, and so I'm mailing it all the way to Maryland for her. So, pause. 6.25 to ship the sippy cup. I probably could have bought her a new one for $8, but I guess it's her favorite, so. We're heading to Enzo Condominiums, and we have some exciting news about this unit, which we'll tell you when we get there. Doing good. So the exciting news about this condo is that last night we got an offer and we accepted Yay! it. So it's now officially pending and I, the buyer's extremely excited about this unit and this home. So we don't anticipate any issues. It's taken a lot longer than we had hoped and thought right when we listed it, the condo market got pretty soft downtown. We finally found the right person that loves it and that's all it takes, it just takes one. Here is the site, the hole where Spire's being built. It's a reservation process. We would love to help you get signed up if that's something you're interested in. New condos are awesome. We have totally needed new condos in Seattle for a long time. And now we have a few different options. So that was one of them, Spire. Sotheby's represents that. Quick plug, put a little ding there. <laughs> All right, we probably have a few newer agents or people thinking about becoming an agent watching this. What would you give as your best tips best advice for people thinking about getting in or young newer agents? A lot of things in no particular order. <laughs> Number one, be flexible. Things and schedules and people can change all the time and you just have to be ready to kind of roll with it. That was a big one for me to get used to because I was so used to having a routine, not being ready for surprises, but that's not how this industry goes, so be flexible. Two, hold as many open houses as possible. It's a really good way to just kind of like get out of your comfort zone, meet potential new clients, sharpen up your skills, get familiar with the house. Even if it wasn't one of Phil's open houses I was holding, I would, um, I picked up a few other agents and it's also a good way to make friends with other agents in your office, just help them out. But the more time you can spend out in the field, the better. Well, and I think that's good because you just have to get used to talking to people about real estate. Not even worry about converting those open house attendees to a client, although you have done that. I did. So that's a great way to find clients. But yeah, you just have to get used to talking the talk. You know, at first you'll feel like you're pretending that you're an agent, sort of, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> just kind of like you realize that this is who you are, this is what you do, and you can help people. All right, we are here at the Nautica. This is a condominium building that is on Dexter and Gaylor. So literally a block or two away from the Facebook headquarters. Lake Union is right through the window across that building. And so location, 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 that's awesome. You could literally fall out your front door and be at work. This unit's on the market for 465, which is a killer price for this area. You know, it's an older building, so it doesn't have some of the bells and whistles that other new projects do, but it's a great opportunity. Number three of uh, something I would tell a newer agent or myself last year was to get involved, like get as involved as possible. That was one of the number one reasons that I got um, involved with the YPN again. What is YPN? <laughs> YPN is Seattle King County Realtors Young Professionals Network, so just a bunch of like-minded realtors or affiliates that want to help each other out, make friends, get back to the community, and advocate for the real estate industry and homeowners. And that's um, actually one of the things that it kind of ties into like what surprised me too was realizing like how small of a like real estate world it is. You know, you can have friends on other sides of the transaction and everyone knows everyone. Everyone's kind of in it together. And even though you could be, say, competing for a listing or a buyer against somebody else, like you still want each other to succeed and do well and yeah. come together for the, the common good. Someone told me in my first year that clients will come and go, but the real estate agents always stay, right? Like someone might yeah. only buy a house once every 10 years, but you might be working with another agent across town multiple times during that time frame. You have to kind of get along and play nice. Coffee's for closers only. 
I'm on a personal mission to try every taco stand in Seattle. And I've been to this one, I guess, three times, but we got the whole team here, so we're gonna celebrate Blake News <laughs> one year of being in the business. So we're gonna go have some tacos to do that. I've always wanted to be a jingle writer. And now that Why? I see a couple, I just think it's like, it's really fascinating to like come up with this like short musical line that then everybody like, it gets ingrained in people's mind and then they only think of, when they think of pizza, they only think of whatever, jingle, you know? So I'm looking at Copiers Northwest and I don't think I've seen a commercial from them for a long time, but here's how their jingle goes. <laughs> I think, I think it goes like this. New ideas, new solutions, Copiers Northwest. <laughs> 